Hey, hey, I'm back. And what's Chris's favorite thing to do while I'm out of town? <laughs> Work on one of my projects so he can have some peace and quiet. Back on the 90 acre project and he got the lot accesses in. This is for lot four. And then we had talked about it before I left and said, you know, lot six, people can't see what it looks like. There's a, uh, it's all overgrown and stuff. And so he took the track loader. In fact, by the time y'all seeing this, you probably saw some of his video and uh, pushed some stuff around. And yeah, there you go. See where the Hyundai is sitting. That is lot six. In fact, it starts further up here. So now we can see what's going on down there, which is nice. That's where, see those blue flags? That's where they're planning to set their house. This is the basement lot. Me and Chris in a few minutes, we're gonna decide. He held off on putting the driveway in one side. If we wanna come up the hill a little more, cause you know, the lot starts where that orange flag is, said so that we wanna put the driveway up here and come in because the house would probably sit where the brush pile is. Nice basement lot. This is the best lot for a pond. So you could set a pond in the back. It'd be like at my place. You know, you'd have your house here. You got the big pond in the back. You know, it's less buildable area than the other lots, even though it's a nine acre lot, but that's because, you know, the creek comes across and falls through there, so. We can't do anything within 50 feet of the creek, but we can do something further up here. It'd be nice. You know, it's a nice wooded lot. Those trees are gonna grow up, back up big. We left the uh, trees here. See, as these get bigger, you know, you're not gonna see your neighbor. Everything is hard to gauge, especially on camera, but even out here, how big everything is until you actually uh, you know, put something on it, then you kind of start to gauge distances. So, nice barrier here, nice spot right here to build a uh, basement house. So, we could just put the driveway where that is now and come in, and it could be a basement garage, and you could enter this side or up there. So, let's see what Chris has to say. Yeah, so down here, remember when we rode in on the logging road. Well, this is the other part. The other half. Yeah. It's a little easier to traverse. Can, there's actually a, a path. It's overgrown, but there was actually a road here, so. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that anthill. Oh, yeah? Yeah, road. we don't want to walk back that, that way. This is the old logging road. See all the big stone this was the logging deck so he cleared this and cleared some of this and left that up there so if somebody wants a basement house they'd put it a little further up they you could still do a basement but if you don't want a basement you come down here a little further nice top so yeah it looks a lot that looks nice that's gonna grow something you could come back in here and put the house and then you know you're not seeing anybody i think this might be where we figured to put the house we've got somebody interested in it right now if they don't buy it we might put a spec here i'm thinking we're going to do it more down here because then with proper yeah he cleared a lot so i'm gonna check this out with proper uh you know, site work and drainage, then this will be fine here. We're out of the floodplain, and then you're back here. You know how quiet it is? Let's go check out this path Chris put in for us. Remember, we just had all those rains. I mean, it rained yesterday. So it's muddy, but I mean, I'm not sinking up to my ankles or nothing. 
So it, yeah, see the pole there? So it doesn't really, where the blue lines are, that's the 100 year floodplain. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's 200 feet from the back of the house at least. And it's down here, we're another, we're probably six feet higher than that. We're talking about building a house, maybe more. All right, I think that's gonna work. So we'll see what Chris says. I like it when people are on time. He said 10 o'clock, he started pulling in, he said 10, that's 10 and one. So we'll give him, we'll give him that a uh, benefit of a uh, few seconds. What'd you get done? Well, I'm texting my next customer who wanted me to look at the project and she just said she had strep throat. So I was like, do you still want to look at it from a distance? <laughs> <sighs> Why is it you do most of your work on my stuff while I'm out of town? It's just how that works. Is it coincidence? I don't know. Or, Somebody was like, or is so, there a reason? Somebody was so hell bent from it. Well, you notice how much I got done, didn't you? Made good progress. You do get more done. I mean, when I'm gone, I wonder why. I don't know. I'm only hmm. like four days into this. Is it five? I don't know. That's why hmm. I write stuff down at the house because. Uh, so you can build me. Yeah. Accordingly. Yeah. That's a good word. Accordingly. Accordingly. But I figured we should take advantage of the thousands of dollars that somebody already spent to dump rock in here. Look at them being nice for us. And then we can, you know, maybe condense it to not 35 feet wide, hmm. and. Uh, we got a good road base. We'll put a little bit of ABC over top of it. Yeah, saving money. Saving money. Using the reason. All right, so what are you thinking? This may be the better build site, like down here. You know, once all that brush is gone, you'll be able to see better. And then I'll clear a little bit more right here so that if you do your house down here, that's going to have to be your septic field up there, regardless. Right. I think. Agreed. I mean, it, it could go back here, but. That's this, the that's this the, lot really yeah. needs a pump system to go up there. That's where it perked better. But we'll just do a small swale from, you know, if it doesn't interfere with the septic stuff, from that tree line to the road so that all that water off that field will be directed to the road ditch. Right. And then uh, if you really wanted to go fancy there, we could dig a little small pond out there and take that dirt and bring it up here and then cut the road ditch in. That'd be a bonus for them doing bonus, a pond. Bonus. Yeah. That's why I was gonna ask you, did you determine what size pond we could do? I mean, obviously we could do as big as we wanted really, but. I mean, honestly, something like a little quarter half acre pond right there would, would kind of be pretty right here beside the, mm. the road. Cause I mean, it's wet enough in there. I think we could clear, cause there's a lot of water that comes off that ditch in that field. Right. So we just have to redirect all that. I mean, if they're standing water out there now. It's gonna be, yes. Yeah. Do that and then redirect. Down here. We just gotta redirect huh. water into it. Because what's happened is right now it's coming into the woods and just goes everywhere. So you're like out of the, you know, out of the Airbender series. You're like Earth. You can't find an Earthbending master in the sky. You have to look underground. I make the this, dreams come true. Yeah. Air, water, fire, and earth. You provide the opportunity, and I make it happen. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't. Jeff got an idea, and I'm all for it. Well, yeah. actually, it was my idea. I just told him about it. I was like, what about Was a it pond? your idea? What about a pond? Was it his idea, though? Editing. I don't know. Editing will show that it's my it idea. my idea. I just presented it to you. Right. I but started, I'm going to cut all that out. I started up <laughs> as your idea, and then I was like, you know what? I come up with this idea. Yeah, you did. Let's just be you real did. About it. You just like the result of the idea. Yeah. I like digging ponds. You yeah. So, why, what, what's the idea? So, there's kind of a low area over there, and uh, there's kind of a... Right here. We're gonna have it on video. <laughs> and you trip over a piece of plastic, Jeff? I stepped on it. Okay, it's all right. I fell over that. So I went ahead and kicked it out of the way because I, I anticipated me falling over. I got you. So uh, if we dig a little pond right there, it could be pretty here beside the house. And uh, we could put the dirt right in here to kind of raise this up and all that. So we're making gonna, use of our surroundings we'll take the 330 over there and dig a hole and kind of see there's some stand, standing water to see what the ground looks like and uh if it fills up you mean we're just not going to go into it all willy-nilly i mean i could have it dug here and trees buried by we this, could do it today by this evening i could have a pond dug with this thing well maybe we should do that because that sounds a lot cheaper than the other way yeah but it, it wouldn't quite be right because we, we've got to clear <laughs> the trees out first you just want trees buried and 
push them in the dam. I mean, there's you can do it, and then there's the right way. No, we only do the right way with Chris, that is as we'll be reminded in the comments. That is correct. Yep. Fire it up. So Chris is going to dig us a little test hole so we can see what the dirt looks like. Good thing is about a pond that's a hole in the ground, mm. water really can't go anywhere. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. So this is the same material that's uh, in my pond at the yeah. house, a bunch of quartz, quartz rock. It held water no problem. Then you get down into your white, right, gumboy stuff. Right. Perfect. Right, let's see what our hole looks like. The channel pay. Oh yeah, there's the gumbo. So water does not go through that. Oh yeah, that looks familiar. Yeah, we could definitely uh, do definitely something. Punch, punch a little water hole in the ground, no problem. See how we take one thing and solve many problems. So another thing what I can do is, you know, I'll come in here and strip, you know, the better dirt off to right. right there. But then this stuff is, we can clear back a little bit farther and then just kind of spread it out maybe that way a little bit. Right. Kind of raise that ground up a little bit too. And make it work. It's not going to make it where, you know, you build a house on it, but at least it'll raise it up. It's already filling it. Already filling it. Where at? Oh, yeah. I think that's... It's just running off of my hand. <laughs> Look at it oozing in down there, though. Well, that's going to be enough up. <laughs> so we'll find out uh, tomorrow. Uh, yeah. How much water is in it? If not, we'll just have a very squishy spot right here. Yeah. What have you gotten me into now, Chris? I ain't done nothing. You told me you're like, oh, I bid it on a uh, old house down the road. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, really? And I'm like, I drive by here. I was like, I know the guy that lives beside there. I've done a bunch of work for him. So what are we gonna name this project? Um. Uh, Hmm. Maybe I will save the house. I don't think so though. It's like, you okay? so. <laughs> My house I live in now was a hundred times worse than that. Really? Yeah. I when when the owner of the property said he would invest zero cents into that yeah. house yeah. right there, it must be Yeah, I walked through it. The floors is it's rough. It's rough. Yeah. But the trees are nice. We it's take pretty. I mean literally I would suggest like the house goes right here. Yep. We tear all that down, redo the driveway. I'd probably take that pine tree down and this. 
and uh say these three pines those two pines it's up to you maybe most people really don't like pine trees well plus then it would let you see the oaks yeah take those those three trees down and because you're gonna need access to tear the house down anyway correct Huh. In the little barn, we're taking it down. The barn's got to come down, probably that rotten tree, and I don't know, maybe this one. And then you see there's another barn at the road? Yep. That might be a James tear down. I don't know if you can get to it. Oh, I can get to that. Okay. <laughs> Not going to let James have any of the fun? There's a random ditch right here, so we'll either... Uh, it's not on the flat map, so... I'm almost tempted to just take it and just run it to the road ditch over there. And then we just kind of blend all this in. Okay. So there's not a ditch right here. Makes sense. I mean, I don't see where we've had a lot of rain. And I don't see where the leaves are like washed. Yeah. I mean, I see where it's pulled up a little bit, but nothing extreme. So if anybody wants some old barn wood, get with me. Cause, uh... <laughs> I need the barn wood. I can't believe you're tearing that out. Nobody comes. How long did I have wood stack, stacked up? I was we like, come get it. We were at wood after like a year. Yeah, we are like, come get it. it wasn't good. So, yeah. This house is uh, unfortunately going to be going to the dump. Because I hate tearing stuff down, but it's but, it's rough. Like, I don't, I don't even know, like, I mean, that's kind of a cool old tree. That one out there. That's dead. Yeah, that's got to go. Well, probably. Leave. I mean, it's. I say leave it. Probably leave it. I mean, the other one looks screwed up, but it don't look terrible. Leave, leave those. Now that one, we're just gonna have to cut, won't we? See if you go uh, pulling it up, it's gonna mess the one up behind yeah, it. Yeah, probably so. It may be rotten enough where I can kind of pluck some of the roots out. But okay. We'll probably just cut that one and get that dead. That one. corner is the wet area they talked about. I mean, it's not like a marked wet yeah. area, but it's. You know that that old barn needs to come out. Ugh, one. Two, man, this looks like six dumpsters. Oh, there's more than six dumpsters. Why? No, Chris, don't say that. <laughs> this would honestly be a pretty driveway if your house was sitting right there. The driveway come literally through right, the things right under the trees would be gorgeous. Agreed, done. See, decided. And you already got some. Of that. Yep. We would, uh, all right, we got phone right there. Oh, we got. So I need to call eight one one. We got utilities galore. So I'll call them. So we'll dig this out.